experiment nine conversation of energy this lab stressed the type of energy convention that are experienced on a rural coaster and as method of enhancing the student understanding of the concept they will create their own rural coaster to test our their ideas the purpose of this experiment is to observe the potential and kinetic energies for rural coaster and to investigate the conversation of mechanical energy for this system. This equipment of this experiment rural coaster, photo gates, and a smart timer system to get out the velocity that car on rolling okay. the law of conversation of energy law of conversation of energy energy cannot be created or destroyed but can change forms energy change from one form to another example PE that means potential energy change to KE Potential energy change to kinetic energy at the bottom of a hill. The equation magnetic, magnetic energy, mechanical energy equal potential energy plus kinetic energy. Mechanical energy before equal mechanical energy after. Potential energy plus kinetic energy before equal potential energy plus kinetic energy after what are the meaning of kinetic energy kinetic energy is the energy that objects possess due to their motion and given by this equation ke that means kinetic energy equal half m v square the details m mass and the unit of mass kilogram v velocity and the unit velocity meter per square kinetic energy uh, ke means kinetic energy and the unit of kinetic energy is full gravitational potential energy PE equal M times G times H M masses G gravitational acceleration due to gravity equal 9.8 meter per square second square H height and now this is a photo of him Bersidia the part one of this experiment as consists of roller coaster and attached with sensors and there is the cart in the first here E mechanical energy equal U plus K and must be equal mechanical energy E equal U2 plus KT K2 and we see just say three and start. start. All right, uh, this is the toy car which will run on this track. This is sensor one and that is sensor two. Now, the height of the toy car is to be measured from here to the table. This is the height, H initial or H1. Now, when I will release the toy car, this will pass through this sensor with some speed. The speed will be recorded by this uh, sensor and then car will pass through. Here car will have both kinetic and potential energy. Okay, can you focus here? So that I'm releasing the car now. Let's see, this car will move. So now this sensor has recorded the speed and 
this speed is in centimeter per second you can convert it into meter per second because energy is in joules so same way you can record the speed here from the second uh, second sunset okay instruction over e middle find c initial over e initial multiple out times 100% loss to e final minus e middle over e middle times 100 by 100 <coughs> percentage now how to calculate the normal force at the top of middle how to calculate the normal of force at the top of middle the normal force is given by this equation at the part one and part two. Part two, we are discussed after this slide. Fn equal mg minus mv square over r. This is a maximum speed at the top and the bottom. Fn equal mv square over r plus mg. F normal force m masses g acceleration to gravity v velocity and r the radius. For another part, Fn equal mv square over r minus mg. This is how to calculate the normal force of the top of middle at the two parts of this experiment at the hill and the loop. Now this loop procedure. This is a photo of loop procedure. You can see a red line. This is a H. The H here you are calculate by this equation H equal five over two times r. R here is the radius for this circuit of the loop. Maybe this you can ask in the exam. Maybe give this uh, photo or picture and you have get out the edge. Maybe give you r. You must be, must be know the rule or this equation. H at the fairest h the high equal 5 over 2 in this experiment this is called loop procedure in loop procedure we release the car from a certain height this height is the one from which i am releasing the car now this car if this height is sufficient this will go here here kinetic energy will be maximum and then it can complete this rotation here and the car will be here, it is rotating and it is with the track and will not fall down because of the gravity. So it does the complete rotation because it has a centripetal force here. So it is rotating like that and this will move away. Now this for this uh, rotation to be completed without car falling, you need here basically sufficient speed. That means you need sufficient potential energy here. Otherwise, this is not going to happen. Uh, I show you once how it does. Okay, let's first see how it happens. So, you have, look, this was good because it completed the initial circuit. So, this height was sufficient. But if I keep the height, which is not sufficient, then you will see that it cannot do the circuit. Look, it fell off from the top. So the height was not sufficient. So what you have to do, you have to measure this height. You have to measure this radius. So measure the diameter, divide by two, you get the radius of this circular loop. So this radius is important because you have to test one thing. What you have to test is this height should, has a relation with this radius. Height should be 5 by 2 R. Height of the car where it is placed should be 5 divided by 2 multiply radius of the loop. Then this thing will work. 
but if you exactly calculate this height, it's, it will still not work. Suppose this is the exact height, you calculate it at this position, still it will not work. Well, why it will not work? Because there is some friction on the track. In ideal case, it will work because formula is ideal. Now, if you put little bit above, then it will complete the circuit. Okay, instruction over. Now this table of hill Versilia, you can get give you initial position, top of hill, bottom of hill. The initial position, the edge 0.32 meter, top of hill 0.23, and bottom of hill 0.9. Nine zero, and also the corresponding velocity, O regarding to initial position, and top of hill sixteen point five, and the bottom of hill one one hundred ninety six. Must be get out and fill this plank. You, <coughs> you got you and K and E, potential energy, kinetic energy, and mechanical energy. Potential energy, you can go back and know that rule. Also kinetic energy, and then mechanical energy, the last, the total of potential energy and kinetic energy. And you are seeing the instruction at your manual. This is part three, loop procedure, give you radius of the loop and all the theoretical minimum initial high. You are use this equation to get the theoretical minimum high, R at the ferris 0.112, and experimental initial minimum height give you, then get out the difference between two height. The theoretical minimum high, initial, and experimental initial mahaim. There may be some question you must be applied in your manual after this. Potential and kinetic energy when in motion.